Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Let's start on the four hour chart just to explain again the scenarios here. There are two scenarios I'm tracking. Um, well, actually it's one scenario. We're tracking the current movement as a wave four. So this has been the same, you know, this perspective has been in place for many, many weeks, many, many months actually, not only weeks, months, that this is a wave four correction, which started up here in March. Like many other cryptos, Solana has been moving in a correction and I call it a wave four correction because a third wave topped, fourth waves can turn into sideways corrections. They are often triangles or flat corrections. Um, less frequently they are zigzags. A zigzag correction is a sharp correction. Well, this correction is definitely not a sharp correction, which adds to my perspective that we're dealing with a wave four. Now a wave four, as I said, can be a so-called flat correction then or a triangle. And um, okay, let's talk about these two scenarios. So basically it's one scenario, it's a wave four, but two different variations of how it can unfold. The first scenario is a flat correction, um, which indicates that the initial move down was an A wave. And now we are actually in a B wave corrective rally, A, B, C in wave B. And we could then move down in wave C again, before we really break out. This B wave could overshoot and it could easily get into the region between $192.60 and $229. Probably more like $215 to $229 seems realistic for a C wave of wave B. If we then see a move down, it could be the C wave of wave four before we break out. Important here is to note that if the B wave overshoots, the C wave may never go below the A wave low. So at the moment, I would assume we stay above um, we stay above that $119, $120 range where all of these previous swing lows were located. In another scenario, which is also very likely, um, we're dealing with a triangle pattern. They are not too different actually. In this triangle, we have an A wave, a B wave, a C wave and a D wave. And um, yeah, now it's getting interesting because the E wave, let's call it ideal support, not target, support is between $132.90 and $150. $157.50. It's not a target. It's a support area. And the E wave could get into this region, but it would take a break below $165.70, the previous swing low, to confirm that we're heading into this support area. From here, then, a breakout to the upside could unfold, but more directly, possibly to new all time highs into the $400 region. So the yellow count takes us directly to $400 plus. Could be we get another pullback. If there is a pullback, all that means is if there is a pullback, it could be an opportunity. Now it is possible the E wave was very, very shallow and bottomed here already on Thursday the 25th. In that case, however, the E wave of this triangle would be extremely, extremely shallow and it would require confirming price action to really make this a preferred scenario, okay? It's just a different way how this triangle could unfold that the last wave of the triangle already finished as wave E. Yeah? I posted that earlier today already on Discord. So if you wanna stay up to date, check out our um, gold membership. You get like up to date infos and if any updates to the charts are made, you get notified. Here, the communication was that as long as the price holds above $165.70, as you can see, this is the last swing low. Um, I assume that either wave five in the white scenario is unfolding or wave five in yellow. So wave five in the white count would just take us to maybe 215 to 229 before a top could form. But again, until support breaks, there is no top. Um, this might then easily morph into the yellow wave five, which can take us actually to $400 and beyond. Um, so um, yeah, all wave five in yellow, which would be based on the assumption that wave E of the triangle was very shallow. Therefore, the yellow scenario is an alternative scenario, which will require confirming price action to become the preferred scenario. I'm talking about that shallow E wave. You know, that we, If we break out directly, um, I would first watch if it's the white um, fifth wave. But it can be that E wave might have been extremely shallow. Maybe, you know, first we have to watch if the price can break above 190. Exactly. That's now crucial. Any break below 165.70, it's the last swing low, would rule out the white count and the support zone in yellow would come into focus. So this would be an interesting um, area to watch if, but only if the price breaks below the last swing low, that's now required. 
crucial parameters for today, $190, the last swing high. If we break above it, I'd say 215 and 229 are the next targets. Sustained break above 229 will indicate that we're heading towards 400 plus, I would say, okay? Not in a straight line, there will be ups and downs along the way, but that's sort of how I see this at the moment. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.